Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this video, I want to talk about this uh, little short um, collab collaboration project between me and uh, Pierre. Uh, basically, um, this Spider-Man Snapchat lens kind of thing. Oh, it's actually for AR. At first, it's actually uh, Pierre actually sent me the the Spider-Man grease pencil. Um, animations that he made using Blender. He actually made a full tutorials on how to uh, to draw it using grease pencil um, and then you rig it using Blender bones and then animate it, um, animate it using bones as well and the result is this um, this animation right here. So I get the blend and the animation itself is a total of 40 frames of this Spider-Man with with a cool uh, flash effect. It's actually very, very efficient and very cleverly done. Um, I should actually, I gonna watch the whole video of him making it. And he made, he actually used this uh, curve method and then kind of filling it, um, filling the, the, the shapes. It's actually very, very good. And I didn't know we can do that. And from here, from this artwork, originally I I tried to export it as AR, um, but for things like Reality Composer, Apple USDZ, um, the requirement is pretty high. You need to export the mesh with the bone, etc. And uh, the the strokes itself for the Spider Man actually works, but the the feel the feel doesn't work. Because we need to bake the mesh, etc. It's not not very elegant, so I decided that maybe I can just render it out as a PNG. So it works as a single PNG, but currently Apple USDZ doesn't support animated PNG, so I decided to use Snapchat Lens. So Snapchat Lens works, right? This the Spider-Man animation works at um, any animation frame rates that you like. This one is keep looping. I decided to add a bit of interactivity and based on the Snapchat lens image interaction tutorial, I managed to make this. Um, there's a slight difficulty with the behavior, but then the Snapchat apparently have this uh, behavior script. Um, that's allowing you to do this very, very easily. So, so basically, okay, I'll go back to Blender. So this is the, the scene. So what I did, um, I, I basically set it up so it renders out 800 by 800 pixels animated PNG. And I make sure that the frame, um, the camera render, it is square and yeah so the output is of course just a, a bunch of png with transparency okay and if i open up lens studio this is the the snapchat lens it should work on android and ios okay so Lens Studio, if you never really use it, it's a. Uh, it's looking something like this. What's cool about it is that it comes with a lot of templates already. So you can see uh, there's one for skeletal, hair color effects. This one is with marker and 3D objects. Um, Snapchat Lens is pushing a lot of 3D, but in the past there, they work with a uh, 2D and 2D objects and actually animate animatable so like this spider cutout it's really really easy to make um, this is basically how it's gonna look like um, you can test it out with different scene uh, but anyway the you basically um, import it as image objects or simply modify the the cutout and just assign your animated PNG layer. So this is of course the spider 
animations that I imported. If you want to import animated PNG, you simply click on Add New, and then 2D animations from files. So, so it's really easy to import, and you simply drag it into the the cutout template. Um, the way Lens Studio works is you still need a bit of knowledge of scripting sometimes like if you want to make this spider kind of like react uh, react on or interact with user when when the screen is tapped or when the image is tapped this is how actually how you do it so what what could um what could be better is if you also supply some kind of audio to go with it especially in this case spider-man it's getting like a camera flash and then there should be sound of camera and then also he probably needs to have like a bubble text so this is the, the demonstration of the result oh okay it's interesting and let's go back to the animation inspector Okay, so this is the, the animations of the spider. Oh, my computer is running very really slow. But basically when it, it you bring it in into Lens Studio, it's usually it's it has this always play kind of tick on. You turn it off and then you control the Spider-Man animations using script instead. The script is looking like like this, but uh, it's not, it's not that scary. Basically, get get the components of the image instead of the sprite visual. That's the older version of the code, and then you loop it one time um, when it's tapped. And that's the script. I just simply attach it to the image object over here. So it's actually very similar to Unity, the way this, this Lens Studio works. You, you add a component and behavior, and then you assign, like, you attach like a script, and then you, you initialize the script based on whatever you assign here. Touch started, tap. Um, what else should I talk about? I think that's probably it. So yeah, this uh, simple little accidental collaborations. I didn't really publish the lens. Um, I don't know if the spider man or any famous character uh, is allowed. Maybe it's not allowed, but it's actually still fun to do, and you can you can quickly test it out. You just push this lens Snapchat lens into your Snapchat, and then you can test it out right away as AR. So there are, there are other tools like Spark AR. Um, for Facebook and Instagram and then there's also Adobe Aero um, for AR but now yeah it's a um, augmented reality uh, reality is really really cool like cool way to um, to have your 3d artworks or in this case like rendered um, grease pencil think about it this is just this actually grease pencil objects and then you can render it at any scale any resolutions it's a it's like a vector art basically you can and then you can use it inside something like lens um, lens uh, snapchat lens or Instagram or uh, Facebook lens via spark AR so there's a lot of ways to play around with AR now of course in this case it's very very simple it's just an, a simple tap interactions but this is really like um, really engaging for the user it's not like a game or anything not a, not an app but lens and ar is like something that's gonna be like everyday thing for the next 10 years especially if you have ar glass or vr at some point so yeah um totally a very interesting uh, ways um i didn't talk much about the grease pencil of this spider-man but just watch the tutorial by Pierre at this active motion pictures. Um, so this op 
objects this rig spider is simply like it's not simply it's a it has two layers it has some very cool detailing and then it also has the multiple materials that it's assigned for each part of the spider-man very cool very cool uh, i really love this example thanks pierre um once again um i tried my own version actually but it what was it it was goku dragon ball but it, it wasn't as good as this but yeah i think this method of rendering out animated png for grease pencil layers is actually really good if you have multiple objects foreground background and the objects and you want to make like a quick ar experience render out grease pencil as animated png and then make the ar that's my suggestion let me know if you have any more ideas or question thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye